My name is Cynthia Lee Sinclair. I am the host of Finding Respect in the Chaos here on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is live every other Friday at 4 p.m. The show is a safe place for survivors of abuse to come and tell their stories and a place for advocates to come and share important resources. All of my episodes can be found on the YouTube playlist. The latest events in Washington have prompted me to want to come and talk about the effects that these proceedings with Brett Kavanaugh have been having on victims of abuse. Hotlines across the country have had a 200% increase in their call volumes. A groundswell of courageous people are coming forward with their stories. I can understand their concerns. As a survivor myself, I have watched all of the hearings. And I agree with the general consensus that Dr. Ford was very credible. In stark contrast, Kavanaugh, with his arrogant sniveling, acted like every abuser that I have ever worked with right after they've been caught. I found it very hard to watch without feeling ill. It is infuriating to watch these senators cry foul and bang their fists while refusing to allow an FBI investigation. The fact that they did not allow the FBI to investigate immediately speaks volumes about just how far they have compromised their moral compass. Now, finally, with an investigation going, they are limiting the scope so severely that we are at risk to this investigation not being a complete and trustworthy one. They claim that the third accuser is so outrageous that she should not even be interviewed. I think it is important to take a sociological view of her accusations. I worked with teenagers in the 80s. There was a bracelet game being played in high schools all across the country back then. The thin bracelets of different colors were collected. Each color bracelet represented a different sex act accomplished by the wearer. Gang rape was one of the acts on the list. That was the sociological climate in that day. Kavanaugh lied when he was asked what the devil's triangle is. It is clearly noted on his calendar. He said it is a drinking game. It is not. It is a reference to sex with one girl and two guys. You can see him flush with embarrassment when he talked about it. Before he rallied and said it was a drinking game. He was under oath and he lied. And that was not his only lie. So now the main point of logic is it does not matter about the he said, she said. It does not matter if you believe her or him. He lied under oath. I am appalled that they are still trying to ram this questionable man through. It is a complete outrage. Falsus in uno, falsus in omnibus. Faults in one, faults in all. At common law, it is a legal principle that a witness who testifies falsely about one matter is not credible to testify about any matter. This is even a common jury instruction. I am very worried that the panel of old white guys won't go through the changes that this country needs to support women's rights and victims of abuse. When I look at history, Kavanaugh is an ultra conservative. He believes in full presidential power and has a history of voting against important women's issues. And this is just with the limited documents we were allowed to see. The Supreme Court is no place for such partisan tendencies. At best, his beliefs are very polarizing. It seems to me there's too much of that in this country already. I do not believe it has a place on the highest court in our land. A Supreme Court judge needs to be completely above reproach. I have hoped from the start of these accusations that the good that could come from this whole proceeding would be to change the narrative about abuse. Well. I am encouraged to see that lots of the country is coming out to support Dr. Ford. They believe her and they respect her courage. Hopefully because of this, the world as we knew it has forever changed, regardless of what happens with Kavanaugh. Now survivors can know they are not alone. They can come forward without fear of condemnation from society. 
if you have been triggered by any of these proceedings. I want you to reach out to your local services. There is healing in the telling. And I want you to keep telling until you get the help that you need. I'm living proof that there is hope and healing on the other side of abuse. If you would like to come on my show and share your story, or if you are an advocate that has important resources, please email me. I want to thank you for your time. This is Cynthia Lee Sinclair from Finding Respect in the Chaos on Think Tech Hawaii.